Hi, I'm Paul Seal from Co-Chair at Coding UK and today I am doing a bonus video for the second series that I did for how to build a website with Umbico and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the built-in image cropper and create your own crops. Before I go any further I just want to say this podcast is not sponsored by Startup Stickers but it could have been. So um, this is a free t-shirt that I got from Startup Stickers and I want to wear other people's t-shirts so if you've got a brand maybe a tech brand or something I like free t-shirts I like um, tech swag so yeah send me your triple XL t-shirts and I'll wear them on camera so anyway let's go back to this then so what's the problem that this is solving so this image cropper then if we go down to here we've got the home page we've got this nice little image here and you can see Megan and her student and if you click through well we're chopping off the student's nose and eyes so this what this does is it, it creates a focal point for your image and it's already built into Umbrico anyway so you can already use it so let's go into the media so let's go into the content page go into news go to um, about your training course provider so the image that we already selected and we can just click on the edit icon and we've got this focal point here we can just put that on our nostrils so we've got a couple of crops header image header and spotlight and i created those in the developer section so i go to developer image cropper and here i've just added to it so before it didn't have any of these and i've just said add one called header and i put in the sizes and i said add one called um, spotlight so header is this one and spotlight is that one so that's all I did you just put the width and the height in anyway I'll cancel that I'll refresh that so you can see the widths and the heights that I put in for these so 1024 by 478 for the header and 868 by 632 well that's great but we was already defining that in the URL well at least this way you store those sizes in here and if that ever changes you can just edit you can just delete it and add it again with a different size and another benefit is that it's now going to pay attention to the um, if we go back into here it's now going to pay attention to this so it's going to pay attention to what the focal point is on the image so we'll save that and we'll go into the code and for it to use it we just need to change some things so if we go into the news article we've got the main header so let's say we want to just get the I publish content, which is what the image is now. So recently Umbrico changed to use the property value converters. I think it was in version 7.6. So what we can do now is we can get that image as an I publish content. So if I do I published content main image, and I just get that there I can get rid of all of this I don't need to worry about this width and height or any of that so I've got shorter code and then in here I can just say um, main image and then I can just say get crop URL and I give it the name of the crop so the crop that I want to do here is header and it's as simple as that it's now going to gen um, generate the URL for the image for me and it's going to use the crop that we created called header and it's going to use the focal point there so it's going to pull through the correct width and height so if we now make sure that that's all saved and I click through to details what we find is on this header image now we have her nostrils in view we wanted to see the nostrils we wanted to see the eye lashes and we've got that so that's the same image nothing changed about the image all it was I didn't add anything new to Umbrico, I just added some crops in the image cropper and now I've got a focal point that it's bothering about and I'm just using the get crop URL. You can use a get crop URL from say a content page as the I publish content and then you give it the name of the property you want to use. So in this case it would have been main image and then after that you can give it the name of the crop you want to use or you can do the name of the property and then the width and the height and things like that so it's really useful and um, I just thought I'd share that with you so if we go back to home 
and we go on here so now we can see still got our nostrils in view on this so it looks fine on that short uh, smaller view and actually the smaller view we didn't wire up but again it's the same principle go to spotlight and what I've done is I've actually set it up to have the image instead of it just being image URL I've actually got it to use uh, to pull through image and then I can do get crop URL off that I publish content item and I can just put this in as spotlight save that and then fingers crossed that will just work yeah so that pulled it through you notice this change slightly as well so obviously it's pulling through from the focal point so that's it um, that's all I wanted to show you really it was just about using the what's already there with the number code what I'm gonna do from now on as well in any of my future videos if I get images I'm going to use this get crop URL um, also just to let you know I'm going to code garden tomorrow my first time ever at code garden over in Denmark um, if anybody watching this is also going to be at code garden then uh, come over and please say hello and uh, I'll say hi back and uh, yeah it'd be good to have a chat with anyone who's ever watched any of my videos uh, it'd be nice to meet you and uh, hopefully not, not answer too many technical questions and hopefully you already know it all now. So thanks for watching. If you like the video, please click on like, subscribe to my channel, and share it with others, etc. etc. And don't forget to visit codeshare.co.uk. Thanks for watching. Bye.